um okay everyone we are live on youtube ramya ma'am we can start uh vijay lakshmi ma'am can we start yes sure yeah thank you ma'am welcome one and all for the guest lecture organized by iqac in association with commerce department and jointly with career guidance and placement cell of lakshmi chand golwala college today we are organizing a special lecture on scope and opportunities in banking for this session we are having with us ms vijay lakshmi Rajagopal, Miss Vijayalakshmi is currently working with Kotak Mahindra Bank as an associate vice president, business solutions group. Also looking in for digital solutions for credit function of wholesale banking. Miss Vijayalakshmi has more than nine years of experience in Kotak Mahindra Bank in multiple profiles. madam has also authored self learning material for center of distance education of sndt women's university in a banking career she has been working in areas related to sme loans core banking system trainer for loan underwriting borrowers rating etc so we are very glad to have with us such an experienced personality in the field of banking for the guest lecture on scope and opportunities in banking welcome ma'am for today's session i now request uh, madam to start with the session over to you vijayalakshmi ma'am thank you uh, ms samya for the kind introduction and welcome uh, A good afternoon to all students and uh, faculty members who are present here, and uh, a big thank you to the authorities, department heads, and committee heads of uh, Lakshmi Chand Golwala College for inviting me uh, today to reconnect with uh, students again. Uh, it, it's uh, been about uh, you know seven, eight months since my last uh, teaching stint, and I'm happy to be back in a trainer mode again. Uh, that's something I love to do. Uh, so let me quickly uh, share my screen and take you through what the banking industry looks like. Uh, and please feel free to stop me if you have any questions as interact. Can you hear me now? I think there was a mix of you. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. Yeah. So uh, the BFSI industry is a huge industry, uh, almost like an ocean. So we are going to today restrict ourselves with to the banking industry. Uh, so okay, banking industry again is huge. It's very large. and it has evolved india has one of the most robust banking industries across the world uh, capable of withstanding a lot of ups and downs because of incredible government support so we'll just take you through the types of banks and this is an industry that will never uh, fall short right so as you all know there is a central bank that governs uh, the entire banking industry we refer to that as rbi or reserve bank of india we have a whole lot of scheduled commercial banks these are the names that Uh, we typically hear of you know in any news or uh, these are common names you know, that uh, we actually deal with. Uh, so uh, Yeah. 
Axie Bank, Axis Bank. Okay, uh, please bear with me for a minute. I seem to be having a network issue. I'll just switch network so that I get onto a stable network. Give me just one minute, please. Yeah, can you see my screen and am I clearly audible now? I hope we don't yeah, have any yes, more apologies, apologies yes. for the blip, some network issues. Yeah. So you would have heard of the large banks like ICICI, HDFC, Axis Bank. Uh, and those are the typical names where everyone wants to go these days. So if we, if we talk to any student, they will say banking industry, uh, ICICI, HDFC may calm right? The private sector banks is where the maximum career growth happens. We also have foreign banks in India who have a subsidiary or a branch in India. There are 45 well-known foreign banks in India and a lot of smaller names too. The big ones you would have heard is HSBC, Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, Standard Chartered, Citibank. Uh, you may have heard of DBS. These are all foreign banks who have established themselves in India. Right? Then you have regional rural banks. These are also owned by the government. And they have been instituted specifically for grassroots, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, improvements, lending to farmers, to villagers. Okay, so common names you may have heard of. They're all called Grameen banks, translated as regional uh, agri banks. Okay, so we have Karnataka Grameen Bank, Maharashtra Grameen Bank, Haryana Grameen Bank. Okay, they're all meant so that farmers can take uh, seed loans, fertilizer loan, villagers can benefit in their local areas through the Gram Panchayat. Right. Then we have cooperative banks. This is again a huge growing uh, sect of the banking industry. Growing, why? Because every two months we hear of a new bank coming up. It's, it's huge. There are uh, uh, you know hundreds of banks in this space. Okay? So we have state and district cooperative banks. Okay? Uh, there are different names. So you may have heard of uh, 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 you know. A Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank or uh, Maharashtra uh, Mercantile Bank, you know, small names, they're all cooperative units. Okay. Then you have primary credit societies. These again operate at the Gram Panchayat level. Okay. And then you have the urban cooperative banks. These are the ones you will again have heard of Abhyodaya Bank, Saraswat Cooperative Bank, Janakalyan Sahkari Bank, Thane Janta Sahkari Bank, Parsik Nagrik Sahkari Bank. Right. These are all again. All these cooperative banks are floated under a cooperative societies act. They are made uh, into banks by the set of people who have actually founded them, right? So these banks function, uh, they start as a, as a bank for benefiting their own members. And then eventually they convert themselves into much larger banks. They're more people friendly than you can ever imagine, right? Then we have more banks. That's not the end of it. We have specialized banks floated by the government. These are just examples again. So Exim Bank is exclusively for export-import transactions, so funding for uh, imports and exports. SIDBI is a small industries development bank. So where, where there are MSME industries, SIDBI plays a very big role. Then you have NABAD, which is for agriculture and rural development. There are more specialized banks, like you have National Housing Board. They're all banks that are exclusively being made for specific purposes. They cater only to that objective. Then we have development banks. Okay, these development banks again focus on areas. Okay, so like Industrial Finance Corporation is meant for industrial development. So if you go to MIDC, they will know Industrial Finance Corporation at the back of their hand. You know, you have MIDC in Thane, in Andheri. These industrial belts they depend a lot on Industrial Finance Corporation. You have state finance corporations. Every state has their own uh, financial hub. Uh, and then you have a lot of uh, district level finance corporations also. These focus on industrial development, infrastructure development. They're again specialized banks being floated by the government. Then you have small finance banks. This is again an emerging segment. We have 10 uh, known banks here. Uh, again, 
you may have heard of au suryoday equity equitas these are all small uh, finance banks so their deposits are also small and they are growing then you have payment banks this is like the in thing yo thing these days you know every uh, you know all your paytm gpay everybody wants to convert into a bank right bank mein bahut paisa hai na profit everybody wants to get float a bank these days so airtel payments bank fino of payments bank jio payments bank these are all the latest ones these are all what literally 5 7 years old they never existed before that uh, they cannot deal in very large volumes so you cannot if you have a whole lot of funds uh, you can't go and park them there their maximum deposits are only 1 lakh per person so if you have lot of money don't go to these banks okay these are small banks then you have nbfcs again this is an ocean uh, these are the big names aditya birla finance shriram transport bajaj finance sara capital lic housing finance power finance corporation Uh, again whole lot of nbfcs are there and all the large banking conglomerates invariably have their own nbfcs right so again this is a notion so i mean just to give you a glimpse of the type of banks we have more than 10 types and sub types and in each sect we have tens and twenties of banks right so you can see that this is a notion and these form the backbone of the very economy of the country there will never be a time when the banking industry will stop they will never stop giving you jobs they will never stop giving you career growth it's just not going to happen you need to find your space in that industry that's all is needed so scope in banking infinite opportunities in banking infinite opportunities for you find it okay let's move on uh, i saw somebody raise their hand is there any question इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन What is your five-year plan? What is your three-year plan? You won't know what to do in your career unless you know how a bank functions. I'm going to quickly take you through that piece. It's again very large. We'll just cover the basic part. So, banking, uh, any bank is divided into two large segments. One is retail, the other is wholesale. Okay. Now, on the retail part, what we commonly see on the front, right? What you get to see every time is called branch banking. so typically a customer walks in there is a cash uh, counter or a teller okay somebody who takes your cash you can deposit withdraw cash over there or there is another counter for fixed deposits okay so you want to keep an fd or recurring deposit you, know, you walk in there make a check give them open you know fill in a couple of forms uh, give your kyc documents and then they will open an account for you right so this is typically what happens in a branch so you might have a credit card card transaction mera credit card chal nahi raha hai atm ka pin nahi aa raha hai i want to address change this is all ha- what happens in the branch really, right so that is branch banking banks are moving away from bank to the digital world with even more thrust since covid and lockdown happened so branches are moving away from uh, you know operations they have very few staff telling everyone go online why because operating a branch is expensive for banks right so they don't want to do this forever they cannot stop it because it's mandatory as far as rbi is concerned and there are people who are not tech savvy especially the senior generation they would want branches right then we also have a complete segment a complete function in retail called customer service now typically graduates freshers this is where these are the two places where you will get jobs Okay, branch banking and customer service. What happens in customer service? All the telephone calls that uh, you know you have your one eight double zero toll free numbers. My card is lost. My PIN number is lost. I want a new uh, loan. I want to open a new account. I want to know some schemes. My net banking account banned ho gaya. All of that happens through customer service. Likewise, don't you get calls saying we have a new credit card scheme? Would you like to opt for it? That also happens through customer service. You have inbound and you have outbound. inbound means customers calling the call center and outbound means the customer care calling up the uh, calling up some outsider offering a service right 
this customer service need not always be a call center there is a misconception that i have seen in students bolte hai customer service bola to mereko phone banking mein headphones laga ke bitha denge aur mujhe pura din phone call attend attend karna padega it doesn't always work like that even at branches you have customer service which is face to face customer service and is very different from the kind of work that a call center does okay so don't stereotype the services explore okay then we have products and campaigns okay anyone with a little bit of banking experience can get into products and campaigns so uh, so you would have heard of new schemes coming up you know interest low interest loans or uh, you know unlimited withdrawals on savings account these are all different products that a bank comes up with and then they run campaigns so if you go to nationalized banks the public sector banks you might actually see two weeks in the year they will put up a board a nice uh, you know banner outside their branch saying that uh, uh, you know account opening drive what are they doing they doing nothing but running a campaign they would have come up with a special scheme saying ye do hafte mein jo bhi account kholenge na unko 1% interest zyada these kind of campaigns should come up with campaigns the way that area of residents or that area of customers need there is a whole department which runs this to design those kind of campaigns to do marketing activities that is the job of these this department right then you have operations department what does operations do somebody is given a form okay mujhe account open karna hai have they filled the information correctly are the documents submitted tally have the originals been verified is the address correct kya koi fake address hai right government norms are very very strict for banking so this operations department is very process driven they have to follow everything a b c d step by step right so invariably you walk into a branch and you say i want an account your form will go to the operations department they will check it they will scrutinize everything they will make entry in the system for opening your account that is what operations does so at a branch level operations are very routine and uh, uh, you know mechanical then you also have audit and quality and process departments this is again a crucial piece because the volume of transactions at retail is very very large you have everything being audited and driven by process so there is a whole team which will take feedback from branches and say aapko how are your customers experiencing it is there something new that we can do they will keep improvising the quality and process okay now what i did tell you is all about accounts and deposits the same functions also apply to loans and advances okay what i told you now and repeating banks have got two functions one is taking deposits and the other is giving loans largely okay what i explained now is all about deposits the exact same functions in a different department will happen for giving out loans the bank giving out loans to customers okay if you walk in a branch you can apply for a loan a business loan personal loan you must have heard of gold loans no gold give you rakho paisa milega education loans right so the same branch will operate to give loans also the same customer service department there will be a separate set of people answering loan related customer service products and campaigns also run for loans vehicle loan chahiye how housing loan chahiye right operations team is different for deposits and loans audit quality process is different for deposits and loans so while we club them under retail please remember that retail within retail there are two large segments one is deposits the other is loans okay ek mein bank deta hai dusre mein bank leta hai okay moving on we have another large function in every bank called wholesale okay retail means what individual customer ek jan ke sath dealing wholesale means dealing with corporates with organizations with institutions okay here the entire segments are sequential steps agar wholesale customers ke sath deal karna hai if i have to build relationship with a particular corporate customer okay it happens sequentially in retail it is not sequentially it is individual functions in wholesale what happens is first the customer is acquired so there will be a relationship manager who will talk to the corporate understand usko kya chahiye aapko kis kisam ka loan chahiye kaun se facilities chahiye okay he will acquire the customer set a deal after that there is something called as underwriting what happens in underwriting uske papers lete hain all the documents that he has you know balance sheet uh, profit and loss account income tax statements gst returns uh, licenses patents uh, msme documents hazar documents custom filings excise filings sab kuch lenge okay and they will scrutinize all the documents and evaluate whether this customer is good whether the bank can give him money whether the bank can route his deposits through the bank 
what kind of relationship should be built how much interest should be proposed what kind of checks and balances should be there okay some uh, uh, you know mortgage lena hai some property lena hai some fds rakhwana hai okay so that is the work of underwriting team okay underwriting means assessing whether the deal can be done or not okay wholesale is largely advances okay largely loans keep in mind that wholesale is heavily loans deposits don't come under wholesale segment right after underwriting comes administration chalo loan dene ka agree kar diya chalo usko loan dena hai karodon ke paise loan mein diye jaate hain then what happens you can't just walk across a counter and give him cash right there has to be a document there has to be a loan agreement okay that agreement is drafted somebody has to sign कंपनी से कोई आएगा सामने बैठ के साइन करेगा बैंक से कोई आएगा सामने बैठ के साइन करेगा बोथ द पार्टीज अग्री देन द मनी इज गिवन टू द कस्टमर बाय वे ऑफ एनी एफ सी आर टी जी एस अकाउंट डिपॉजिट एक्सेट्रा सो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टीम्स वर्क इज डूइंग ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड ऑल द स्टेप्स रिक्वायर्ड टू एस्टेब्लिश दैट रिलेशनशिप राइट देन यू हैव मॉनिटरिंग पैसे दे दिए इज ई पेइंग ऑन टाइम वो पैसे लेके कुछ और तो नहीं कर रहा है गिवन इन मनी फॉर बाइंग स्टॉक फॉर डूइंग बिजनेस ओके फॉर मेकिंग अ न्यू फैक्ट्री इज ही यूजिंग इट फॉर द राइट पर्पस और उसको पैसा उड़ा के नीरव मोदी एंड माल्या बन गया वी डोंट नो राइट यू हैव टू चेक यू कैन जस्ट गिव अवे द मनी अभी वोवर इज गिवन मनी टू नीरव मोदी एंड माल्या ऑल दोस बैंक्स आर स्टक फाइटिंग विद यू नो लॉसेस यू कैन जस्ट गिव अवे द मनी एंड वेट कि हां हां वो जब देगा देगा डजंट वर्क लाइक दैट देन वी डीलिंग विद प्रोज ऑफ दिस राइट सो यू हैव टू मॉनिटर वेयर आर द मनी गॉन इज ही पेइंग ऑन टाइम देयर बी 100 कंडीशंस every month he has to pay so much he has to submit these statements we will come and inspect his factory any time we want bank can inspect okay kharcha uska nashta pani uska hum ja ke visit karenge right so that has to be monitored so there has there is a process driven i mean jokes apart there is a process driven on what frequency there will be visits who will audit his factory etc that is a huge monitoring team okay and then you have service management it's not that just the bank will follow up the customer also needs lot of things you know sometimes he needs urgent money okay he wants to import something on emergency basis price bad gaya uske paas paise nahi he will say mereko urgently chhota sa loan de do ek hafte ke liye mera na ek debtor ka paisa aane wala hai i have a receivable something is going to come i'll pay you back so we have to service the customers mean which which comes urgently or some change in the loan transaction right so there is a complete service management team so this is like the customer service of retail but here the dynamics are different now wholesale is a sequential process and all of these departments work together per customer okay remember that wholesale and retail dynamics are very different okay this is largely what the main functions are now let's come to what are the incidental functions support functions these support functions are not segregated for retail or wholesale they work for the whole bank you might have heard of some of these functions let's go through them there's a function called treasury what is treasury every bank deals in foreign currencies okay if you want to go abroad and you want to exchange rupees for foreign currency you're going to uk you want pounds there will be a merchant dealer there will be you must have heard of uh, you know money transfer a uh, uh, western union money transfer or you might have heard of you know all these currency exchange counters they have to deal with banks eventually so there is a treasury desk in every bank which does these foreign deals paisa kahan se aata rbi thodi na foreign currency print karte hai rbi to rupees print karta hai right so for dealing in foreign currency every bank will have a treasury desk and that treasury desk will deal in that currency and disseminate to all the branches so even at the branch a customer can walk in and say i want a foreign currency loan पैसा कहां से आएगा बैंक के पास द बैंक हैज टू सेल रुपीस एंड गेट फॉरेन करेंसी एंड देन दे विल गिव द कस्टमर्स द फॉरेन करेंसी दैट दे नीड सो देयर इज अ ट्रेजरी डेस्क दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी एक्टिव डेस्क एंड ट्रस्ट मी इन द लास्ट 10 डेज दिस डेस्क इन ऑल बैंक्स हैव बिकम एक्स्ट्रा एक्टिव बिकॉज़ ऑफ रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर एनीवेयर इन द कंट्री देयर इज अ एनीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड देयर इज अ प्रॉब्लम दिस ट्रेजरी डेस्क दे कैन नॉट स्लीप इट्स अ वेरी हाई प्रोफाइल जॉब अ वेरी एक्टिव जॉब एंड you need a lot of experience to manage that job but it is it's extremely challenging and amazing growth there okay now again you have central operations i told you about retail operations right you have a larger function called operations team which also deals in international operations dealing with other countries you know customs duties there are uh, shipping documents uh, transaction documents that go from one country to the other and they are governed by international rules okay so there is a huge operational de- desk which is governed by banking regulations act which is governed by fema which is governed by ucpdc rules which is governed by international treaties 
bankers, okay? And they have to run the operations of the bank, right? So there's a huge desk over here. Uh, again, initial, there's huge scope here. It is not like, I have to form to sign a form. Retail operations are very different. This operation function that I'm talking about is very sensitive and large, okay? Then every bank also has asset liability management. I'm not sure how, much of, how many of you know, but RBI has got certain norms for banks, right? Every bank has to keep certain deposits with RBI. Okay, we are, it's called uh, SLR, CRR, cash reserve ratio, statutory liquidity ratio. There is a capital adequacy ratio that we have to follow as per Basel norms. Now, who will calculate all that? I can't, I can't just say, okay, in my mind today, there should be 10% so much money. That doesn't work like that. Every day, every week, the banks have to file returns with RBI saying, Today we have given so much loans. Today we have received so much deposits. This much money has is being kept with RBI as statutory liquidity ratio. This much money is being kept with RBI as CRR. So much is my capital adequacy ratio as per Basel calculations. And we are complying with one, two, three, four, five norms. It's very strict. So that is completely done by asset liability management. Right? They have to plan ahead. Mere kitne FDs jo hai, agle hafte mein mature ho rahe. To paisa dena padega na wapas. Customer will come into the branch and he say, mera deposit mature ho gaya. De do mere ko paisa. Mere ko aad savings bank se ek, ek lakh rupaya leke jana. Aega paisa kaan se? Ba jeb mein thodi baitha hua hai ki nikale ga or de de ga, right? So the, there is a department which manages loan ka paisa aega, to deposit ka paisa hum denge. So this continuous management is done by something called as asset liability management team. Okay, then you have balance sheet or accounting team. There is a whole large team which tallies all the functions across, you know, hundreds and thousands of branches and settles and makes the balance sheet of the bank. Okay. Every month, every, sometimes even daily they will prepare and they have to tally and allow it to be audited. Right. So this is balance sheet and accounting. Team. Then you have something called as risk management. Okay. Paisa diya, aane nahi wala hai, chances hai. Usme le provision manana padta hai na. You remember you must have done an accounts reserve for bad debts. Banks may be hota. Loan diya, paisa nahi aaya, to reserve banana padta hai. Kitna reserve banane ka? Risk management team tells us. Okay. Even if there is no bad debt possible, we have to get some provision done on a routine basis. So that is done by risk management. They also calculate and predict capital adequacy and they do basal testing. Okay. In future prediction of whether if there is, let's say there is a war in the country, what will go wrong? They will make provisions and sync for that. This everybody knows. I don't have to tell you what human resources stands for. Recruitment, training, compensation, succession management, manpower planning, etc. It's a huge function. Uh, to just give you an example, Kotak Mahindra Bank has got 75,000 employees. Okay. HR alone, HR function alone has 2,000 employees. <clears throat> Okay, this is just a central function and scattered across subsidiaries is even more. Okay, information technology again, it needs no introduction. Entire banking industry runs on this. Today, the thrust for digitization is so huge that uh, the demand in this function is just not getting fulfilled. You go to any bank and you have slight IT background, they will they'll be ready to recruit you. I belong to this function. Trust me, I'm not, I, I know zero of coding and development. I am not an IT person, but this is the department that I'm working in. Okay. So IT does not mean that you should have done a BCA course, MCA course. You know, I should, I should do BSc IT. I should be computer engineer. That is not IT. Please understand. There's a huge misconception that says that only coding and development people uh, will do IT. It doesn't work like that. Right. So IT as a function includes everything that is set in the structure of the bank. ATM network, today you go into a, an ATM, you swipe your card, you change your PIN number. How does it happen? Because of that IT network, right? You sit on your phone, use an app and transfer money. You do GPA, GPay, Paytm, right? They are linked to your bank accounts. Where Only because IT is working, right? So IT function includes connecting, networking, software, hardware, development, coding, digitizing the whole thing and giving an amazing customer experience, right? This IT function in the last two, three years in the banking industry has been driven by fintechs. So because Paytm, Google Pay, uh, WhatsApp payments, you know, all of these
Kuss. In four months, interviewed 30 people, recruited seven people in my team. Okay. And I, I again repeating, I am one uh, small, uh, you know, cog in the entire IT function of Kotak Mahindra Bank. It was some corner. The whole function, IT function has got, you know, in Kotak Mahindra Bank has got close to about 10,000 people. And again, I'm repeating. Please break that misconception that you need to know coding and development in order to do IT. I don't know anything. I don't know to write even a single program. I don't know Python. I don't know R. I don't know anything. But I know project management and I know how to run IT projects. I'm here because I know how to run projects, not because I know to do IT. IT development karne ke liye koi aur hai. But usko automation kaise leke aane ka, uske liye log chahiye. This is the in thing today. Trust me, there is no other department in any bank which needs as many people as this department is ready to recruit. So if you know a little bit about how IT works or project management, go there. And you in the next three, four years, you are 100%, you're guaranteed a career goal. Okay. <clears throat> then you have corporate communications. You will have heard of PR, public relations, uh, you know, uh, any uh, kind of ads that come making nice, beautiful ads saying, wow, my bank is this, my, you know, we are offering so-and-so product. See, that's the job of corporate communication. So if, the, if let's say somebody has uh, published an article in a newspaper or social media uh, saying something negative about the organization, it's the job of corporate communications to calm them, build the reputation of the bank, correct the information, etc. That's the job. So it's a huge department in itself. Okay. You also have process quality assurance at a large bank level okay this is different from the retail one because in the retail they are focusing on only retail transactions but when you have a large support function what happens is they try to connect the retail wholesale operations it hr all together ensuring that all of them are in sync baya hat or daya hat same process on the alag alag process ni hota. bank is one customer thinks the bank is one so, okay so there is always a process and quality assurance department you have a huge legal team in every department. Customer ke saath agreement likhna hai. When you go to a bank, even to open a savings account, you have a form, right? Wo form banata kon hai? Legal, doc, legal team banata hai. Bolta hai, uspe ye terms and conditions honi chahi. Tab ja ke wo signature valid hai, right? So they draw up documents. It's a huge team. Okay? Have compliance and reporting. Compliance and reporting work very closely with balance sheet accounting and asset liability management. They work very closely together, right? So all the uh, accounting that is done across the bank, they have to be reported to RBI uh, and to various authorities on a regular basis. Right? So compliance and reporting is a huge department. Uh, there are returns to prepare. There are returns that go daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. Uh, I know of more than 100 returns, 100 reports that go to RBI. Uh, and when a reserve bank comes for inspection to a bank, they spend a month and they ask for uh, you know, tens and thousands of documents. Okay, all that for compliance department is for You have a secretarial department. This is, you must have heard of company secretary course, right? CS course. So this is what they do. Just like every company is run, banks also have to run certain, uh, you know, there are processes laid down under the company's app. So follow karma. Then you have internal audit. All the processes of the banks are audited. Every document, every signature is audited internally first. And then whatever the internal audit prepares goes to statutory auditor, uh, you know, process auditor, external auditors, etc. And then you have asset management. This is not asset liability management. By asset management, I mean managing premises, uh, stocks, kitne, kitne laptops, hai, uh, uh, you know, kitne offices, hai, rent, kahan bharna hai, which cost center, you know, if you've done cost management, you know, which cost center has to be debited, uh, you know, manpower planning, ke liye, uske kitne desk, chahiye. Okay, kitne plug points, all that is done by asset management. Security, who will be allowed inside the premises? Do you have a visitor pass? How much parking space is to be there? That will be done by asset management, right? So these are largely the support functions, okay? Again, an ocean. Just to, again, I'm giving you a glimpse. It may not be uniform bank to bank. Maybe a couple of functions may be joined. A couple of, some function may be split into smaller pieces. But these are all the jobs and tasks that are done across the bank.
how do we get there this is a this was i guess the main reason for calling me here uh, how do actually people get into the banking uh, industry right what education do you need uh, i understood from priyanka that all our uh, undergraduates over here uh, don't stop with graduation go in for a pg course so look for a banking specific course if you are targeting the banking industry or look for a finance based course or at least look for a course that touches upon the function you want to hit right so if you want to be an hr person do an hr course you want to be a uh, an accounting related person okay do an accounting course you want to be in underwriting okay then do a course that uh, helps you understand risk or helps you understand uh, you know financial statements okay so pick up a pg course that plays to your strengths if you're good at project management like i am do management course right pick up what you like if you like coding development do an it course but do a pg which is specific to your strengths and your vision what you want to do in the banking industry uh look up the website of indian institute of banking and finance you have a lot of short term certificate courses here this is specific to banking industry this is uh, an organization that has got only banking uh, members you know across the board and they have lot of short term courses one month two months you get an online book you can do the course do an online exam or you can have a paper pen exam okay it has got a lot of specific banking related courses go through the syllabus you will get a flavor of what the banking industry is okay pick up online courses uh, what the lockdown has given us in a boom is a huge lot of short term courses so go to swayam which is indian coursera uh, an academy upgrad you know all those sites and pick up courses choose the correct university that is offering the online course remember that coursera edx upgrad an academy swayam are all aggregators who offer courses the certificate is going to come to you from iit iim harvard stanton etc so pick up the university which you want to target from where you want to course okay a lot of indian institutes the big ones have got online courses on moocs now i'm sure your teachers will be in a better position to explain what moocs is but uh, all the iims iits all the tier 1 institutes have moved on to moocs distance education is a thing of the past mumbai university still has distance education because of the reach it has but uh, all the premier institutes have gone online digital courses pick up a course that you like and finish it in 2 months 3 months 6 months or you can even do a pg online of it right so pick up these courses that pay to your banking strengths pick up banking areas enhance your digital background digital does not mean ms office i have people come and saying i am very it savvy what do you know to do mere ko na excel aur word aata hai mere ko ppt banana aata hai bye bye i won't recruit you right excel word powerpoint is a thing of the past they are needed it's not that we can survive without that i deal in ppt and excel word every day but if you know to run macros on excel good if you know a little bit about how to use sql good these are things that are needed today only word excel ppt no use move on upgrade okay you are in an age where you can learn really fast use that strength mere ko baith ko padhai baith ke padhai karne ko bologe to mere ko 4 mahine lagega tum log 1 mahine mein seekh loge fatafat seekho right where do vacancies come how do you search for vacancies all the public sector banks have specific exams watch out for their news so subscribe to uh, your online apps of hindustan times and times of india and indian express read the newspapers they have specific time periods so sbi has a recruitment exam saraswat bank had a recruitment exam in last november december so all of these cooperative large banks all the nationalized banks or cooperative banks have their specific exams and they do these exams because they have huge vacancies at one time they will recruit uh, like saraswat bank who had opened up 4000 vacancies a state bank of india had opened up i think 30 40000 vacancies right so the chances of you getting into a bank in an entry role is always faster so exam based recruitment works beautifully if you're still not done your pg you're still studying get in get into the bank get that experience get that knowledge maybe your career path will become clearer once you get there 
look for ibps exams okay banking personal selection exams there is an institute called ibps they do these exams and they lot of time these uh, banks tie up with ibps for ibps for recruitment okay ibps again exams happen twice a year so track that apply for that and it's a law of averages right you apply at 10 places you will get one interview call so you have to and usme selection pata nahi so you apply 20 places give 5 6 interviews and expect one selection it's an ocean and again and again tell you it's an ocean and the demand for special professionals uh, you know is really really high up there okay this is another common uh, way go to the websites of all these banks all the private banks foreign banks have a complete section on careers they keep publishing vacancies every day icici has it access has it hdfc has it hsbc has it kotak has it go to their website and look for jobs career that kind of thing and keep scouting for vacancies apply keep on applying you will get some call you can get in see the whole task in the banking industry is get in and start going around okay you can explore get in stay there for a year or two don't think about quitting before that otherwise it looks pathetic on your cv saying that i quit my job in 6 months work there for a couple of years understand the industry and then start moving around and internal recruitment is always huge in banks so once you are in one department they you can apply for internal transfers and keep moving on <clears throat> how do we pick profiles i'm talking from the interviewer side now okay if i had to choose a particular person what do i look at cv maybe i look at it but everybody sees the same yaar graduation level pe kya hota hai graduation some specialization uh, two three competitions so char prizes extra curricular activities one or two research papers project bus what is the difference i don't find any difference in freshers they all look the same all cvs look the same right domain knowledge whatever you have studied be an expert at that there is no substitute to what you have learned coming back and saying um, you know hamara covid batch tha humne online padhai kiya tha barabar padhai nahi hua kisi ne bola tha tumhe padhai nahi karne ke liye did the teacher stop teaching no excuses domain knowledge is something that you acquire by reading by studying by researching not only by attending college if you have subjects excel in them no substitute padhna hai janna hai be prepared for question more than that acquired knowledge what is it that is not in your subject that you have learned you are an account student you should know accounts that's domain knowledge but what is it that you have done over and above your accounts have you understood how e governance and online portals work in gathering gst data acquired knowledge think of what you can do over and above that have you tried to find out how income tax portal was revamped what is improved understand that try and understand the government's budget what is allocated where right try and pick up a space that you are not directly connected with so you are in account students pick up something in hr and strategic do cross discipline studies that acquired knowledge helps have you done any internship or part time jobs beautiful i will look at your profile more interesting go in for a two month job take a break go join a job all banks look for uh, you know vacancies in what happens in summer is their staff bachcho ki chutti hote wo chutti leke chale jate hain they take for two months for somebody to work go and take up a part time summer job in a bank beautiful your acquired knowledge is just multiplied right look for opportunities beyond your cv and your domain okay okay you don't you didn't find an opportunity in a bank you worked as a salesman in some shop good that's what we're looking for right what does your social media background talk about your digital footprint every person has a digital footprint what have you posted on facebook and instagram in the last 3 years i will not recruit a person unless i have checked their instagram profile their facebook profile their linkedin profile pinterest snapchat pura google mark ke uska profile chhanmin karke uske baad mein i will go for interview what does your social media talk about have you sided with political matters have you posted your own articles by researching something in your domain beautiful build your social media profile the current generation i find very few of them are there on linkedin you want a job you want to make an impact make a linkedin profile write articles try to get 
you know write a book with somebody and get it published these are the efforts that matter right make your social media footprint visible and vibrant it should be your narrative it cannot be copied matter okay it's very very critical these days that is your our you know distinguishing factor and most important of all is your vision what do you want to do in the banking industry are you here for a job for money for a career or you are here to carve out your own brand name one interview of 15 minutes and we can tell whether you have an own personality or you are here to do type pass if you are if the applicant is there in the interview call for for a past time ha milega to dekha jayega sorry bhai i am not recruiting you if you can outline and say yes i want to be here in you know i want to run today my my career path will be i will join the products and campaign segment i want to get into a hardcore marketing profile and get into corporate communications in the next 5 years wow i know you have a vision or you want to come and say that i understand taxation documents i know how to read financial uh, you know documents i am here to do underwriting and risk evaluation very good find your career path have a vision figure out what you want even if it means that you want to study along with your work express what your vision is what are your plans so when in an interview somebody asks you what is your five year plan you jaan booj ke puchte hain they want to see whether you have a vision or not this vision is what is going to distinguish you from your peers otherwise everybody cv is the same trust me today cvs are filtered by robots we don't even see cvs hr automation cvs are filtered by robots you apply online wahi pe khat 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 out you want to make a mark excel in social media vision and keep on reading and study that's where you're going to get in the banking industry competition is cut throat i keep saying this i'm sure priyanka would remember me saying this ages ago if you know when you're in college you're competing with hundreds and 200s the moment you step out of college you are competing let's say you go to pg you are competing with a few thousands at university level but you get into the uh, job market you are competing with lakhs of people you need to make your mark unless you make your mark you are not going to get anywhere so i'll leave you with the thought that banking industry is huge it can gobble up as many people as who want to join all the best to all of you in making your career so if you have any questions i'd be glad to take them ma'am uh, thank you so much uh, let's see uh, the students would be asking their questions in the chat box meanwhile i would like that the students could get some pictures with you digitally so i would request sure. all the students to uh, switch on their video for 1 minute and then priyanka ma'am could take the picture students please switch on your videos Uh, ma'am the questions would be asked in the chat box so if it is visible to you you can let me know sure i think one person has asked what about ibps po clerk exam sbi po clerk exam uh yes i think that's deepak yes deepak there are uh, ibps and sbi exams and that's a beautiful way to get started uh, in the banking industry you know when you are a fresher uh, without a uh, and any any experience that's a lovely and a reasonably sure shot way of getting into the banking industry any other mode uh, the chances of getting recruited are much lesser uh, but uh, yeah you can try the standard exams they will have exam uh, they'll have questions on maths english uh, general knowledge so with a little bit of studies and a little bit of self help books you know from the market uh any cet preparatory course so you get specific ibps preparatory books also you just walk into the market and ask for ibps exam ke liye book they will give you general english maths logic 
जी के क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन प्रिपेयर बट इट टेक्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ एफर्ट एक दो महीना पढ़ाई तो करना पड़ेगा फ्री में नहीं मिलेगा कुछ भी uh ma'am i have received a question of a student of sure. a student that uh, agar maths weak hai to phir bhi pass ho sakte hai yeah the maths that is asked in these entrance exams is not uh, you know that uh, science wala maths level nahi hota hai 8th 9th 10th standard ka maths chalta hai na usna aata hai na bas Okay. practice a little bit prepare a little bit get a flavor you should do fairly well it's not it's not very high level so you don't need to be a science student to master maths you know utna high level nahi chahiye hota you can manage um okay, there is one more question here which says uh, to see the interest in finance should we start doing short term courses like ncfm and nism um see ncfm and nism are specific courses meant for securities market for exchanges and for trading or asset management they are not directly connected with banking function so you figure out what is your interest see whether you know securities trading uh, dabbling in share market interests you then please go in for ncfm and nism Uh, but if you want to focus on banking function, then NCFM and NIFM is going to help you only where you are going going to sell those kind of products. Cross selling products at the branch level, man. No branch where you are working and you got a profile which tells you which gives you a mutual fund target. You have to sell so many mutual fund products. Then yes, NCFM and NIFM will help. Okay, so figure out your interest and then go ahead. Somebody else has asked: Is Kotak Mahindra Bank an investment bank? Okay, uh, there is a misconception here. uh investment bank uh, is a separate function it's a separate uh, let me call it a type of bank which deals in um, mergers strategies acquisition uh, you know that kind of uh, debt corporate management that is called investment banking all private banks have an investment banking function inside them right so kotak mahindra bank is not just an investment bank investment banking is a part of one of the functions of kotak mahindra bank. Are there any other questions? I can't see anything in the chat. After listening to you, I could recall that I am attending your lecture again. Back to college days. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, now, for uh, further, I would request uh, Vani Priya, ma'am, to propose the vote of thanks. Uh, thank you so much priyanka ma'am uh, this brings us to the end of an engrossing session i take this opportunity to thank vijay lakshmi ma'am for taking her time out and accepting our invitation to be an orator for the program on scope and opportunities in banking thank you so much ma'am for sharing your insights in the banking sector you have covered everything under the umbrella especially you have advised the students how to upgrade and uplift their career i think that's the most important right now that they need also you have shared how could uh, what is the market requirement today when if they want to enter the banking sector i would take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to our principal dr sunil karve sir for guiding us in all possible ways to conduct this session successfully my sincere thanks to iqac department of commerce and career guidance and placement cell last but not the least i would like to thank all the participants to be a part of this session and thank you so much ma'am again thank you uh, to the college principal and all the departments and committees for inviting me today and uh, making me nostalgic about my teaching career again and thanks priyanka for uh, bringing me on this platform again so and thank you all students and wish you all the best in your career and uh, if you would need to get into banking and you have equipped yourself with the requisite knowledge get in touch with me i'd be happy to recruit you <laughs> you have vacancies all the time thank you so much ma'am thanks everyone bye have a great evening and a weekend thank you so much ma'am priyanka ma'am can i close down the session